New at 11 tonight, the report that helps connect the dots about a Central Ohio principal's resignation. Pickerington North High School principal Mark Yulbrick resigned last Friday, and this Monday the board voted to approve it. We have obtained the independent investigation the district had done to look into his actions. In this 10 Investigates report, Olivia Eugenio dug into the document tonight. And Olivia, what have you learned? Yeah, so the report accuses Principal Mark Yulbrick of improperly handling a student's return to school while the student was awaiting trial for two separate criminal cases where the student was found delinquent or guilty and the handling of a third case once he was allowed back in the classroom in January, although charges have not been filed in that case. 10 Investigates first told you all about the cases earlier this month. This report ties them to the principal's resignation. The report says the student was allowed back in the classroom on January 4th and that the principal stated the student had the right to return to school because the student had not been proven guilty of two cases of sexual assault that happened in June of 2021 and in August that same year. But a Fairfield County juvenile court found the student guilty at the end of January and a judge sentenced him last week on March 23rd. 10 Investigates was in court for the student's sentencing hearing. I can't sleep at night. I worry about what my son will remember as he grows older. The report says on the student's second day in school, he was seen by another student walking the hallway alone. This violated the district's court approved safety plan for the student to return to school in the plan, which was only obtained by 10 investigates through a public records request before it was sealed. It notes the student will be supervised by school staff present in the hallway. This gets at the heart of the report, which notes the principal did not go into enforcement in regards to the student. Noting Principal Yulebrook admitted teachers did not receive paperwork prior to his return to the classroom, nor did he notify his supervisor. This includes Peterman Transportation, the school bus company who was supposed to be made aware of the student's safety plan. In the report, a witness who is the discipline supervisor was unaware of the student until four days after the student was allowed in the classroom. The safety plan notes the student should sit in the first couple rows of the bus and that should be communicated with transportation. The discipline supervisor says they were also contacted by a parent nine days after the student returned to class, saying he asked another student who we know is seven years old to unbutton their pants. The student is not charged in this third case. It was five days after that incident that the principal requested a copy of the paperwork that the report says indicated his amount of responsibility for the student. The report finds the principal did not oversee the student as he was supposed to. Yulebrick was placed on administrative leave 11 days after the incident on the bus. He put in his resignation almost two months after that. Now, the team will be sent to a treatment facility and will be on probation for five years. It will be determined due to his progress if he has to register as a sex offender. The school district is referring Mark Olbrook's case to the department, the Ohio Department of Education, for further review.